And I have to tell you, I am so fed up with Corinne Jean-Pierre. We're going to blame the gun. Did that gun walk out of that car and shoot Officer Jonathan Diller? No. Dirtbags had those guns. Both of them had illegal guns. And stop telling me about all your gun legislation because I don't want to hear about it. I've got 32 years in this business. They commit crimes with illegal guns. They don't give a damn what legislation you pass and how many clips you can and bullets in your clip in your magazine. That's a bunch of nonsense to that. Both of them had illegal loaded guns in that car and were ready, willing, and able to use it in a city where they're not going to be held. One was in prison for attempted murder, all right? And he's out on bail for gun possession. Are you kidding me? This is the fall of a civilized society. When we don't respect police and law enforcement, when we don't recognize it's time to take it to the Democrats, it's time to put it to them. They are responsible for this nonsense social justice bail reform, which is nonsense, and all of these progressive DAs. Hochul should be getting rid of the DAs that aren't prosecuting crimes. Hochul should be moving for legislation to protect New Yorkers. I'm sick of sanctuary cities. I'm sick of illegals getting protected in sanctuary cities when they commit crimes. At least Americans, when they commit crimes, they go to jail, but not the illegals. Enough of this. If you don't want to lose this country, there's only one man who's going to save it. And diving into the dispute between Judge Jeanine Pirro and Corrine Jean-Pierre over Officer Jonathan Diller's demise brings to light a fundamental debate. Judge Jeanine Pirro's objection to Corrine Jean-Pierre's response underscores the value of freely expressing personal convictions, irrespective of societal expectations or political correctness. Instead of targeting inanimate objects like firearms, Judge Jeanine Pirro directs accountability towards individuals resonating with broader sentiments on gun control. Notably, her criticism extends to media outlets such as the New York Times, highlighting perceived biases, particularly in coverage related to conservative figures like Donald Trump. By scrutinizing the New York Times, Judge Jeanine Pirro delves into the entrenched power dynamics within media institutions and their influence on public narratives. Furthermore, her characterization of a particular journalist as ultra-hard left activists, masquerading as journalists, unveils concerns regarding media impartiality and objectivity. In essence, Judge Janine, Pirro's statements encapsulate concerns about media bias, the sanctity of the Second Amendment, and apprehensions surrounding the portrayal of conservative voices in the media landscape. 